Come on, let's get it moving a bit, please. Time's on. That'll be a yellow throw. Advantage. Oh! Still on, still on, gone. Blue throw, blue throw. <laughs> free kick, free kick. Oh, lovely. Go! 2 1 to blue. Today, they're going through the referee course, so we've already done the theoretical part. So then now they're going through the practical assessment, trying to put into practice a lot of the theory that they learned this morning. So we're getting them used to moving, whistling, communication, player management, and then obviously the most important refereeing, which is decision making. Oh, well played. Oh, what a goal. One, one. Go oh. kick. Yeah, I think we've learned quite a few things about, about the game and how the referees see it from their point of view. He said uh, confidence is a big thing for referees. You've got to show a good demeanour so that players from that, that you're refereeing or coaches, managers, will see, take it as a, a good thing, that you're confident. I think if you, if you don't show a bit of confidence, then like, they're going to they're gonna see that and then the players can take advantage of that and like try and manipulate your decisions. But Yeah, yeah if the players see indecision, I know me or Joe, Definitely, if we saw a decision, we'd be all over that. Letting the referee know about it, so got to be confident. Go on. Go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go, has got opportunity. Boys, none of that, none of that, please. Boys, yellow, yellow for both of you. Final warnings. Now, refereeing can open up all kinds of access to any individual. So I think it's great that the boys are down here. Even if they don't referee um, at all or don't referee long term, the fact that they've been exposed to this side of the game, I think could be very, very helpful for someone in football. But even if they wanted to become a physio or a coach or um, specialise in training one-to-one -one or even refereeing, it is so important for them to understand this side of the game, understand the referee's mindset, and most importantly, to understand the game from a different angle. Oh, good bit of skill. Touch. Oh, ankles. What a goal! I think also putting yourself in like the referee's shoes is like a different experience. In a game, you're quick to like rush towards the ref and like shout at them and stuff. But like when you're actually the referee, it's different. And you see it differently. You have to be consistent as well. You can't you can't give away a foul and book someone and then if someone does the same thing. You can't not book them. They're there for the, they're there for the good of the game and to protect us. So. Maybe try to give them the benefit of the doubt sometimes. Yeah. Now the interesting part was some were more keen on offside, others were a bit more keen on foul tackles, some were more keen inside, some were more keen outside. But as you can tell by the whistling, as you can hear by the voices in the background, there's really been a widespread keenness throughout the group. Yeah, I got a red. Um, just like, as I said, I'm a strict referee. <laughs> I don't take anything. Nothing. Um, I don't let any player get into my head. Play up, play up. Play up, play up. 